With the country reeling from two mass shootings in two days, we wanted to take a deeper look at to what causes people to carry out extreme acts of violence. Are there warning signs, red flags that can alert us to trouble brewing? Joining us from our Washington, D.C. Bureau is Dr. Alan Lippman, a psychologist and the founder and director of the Center for the Study of Violence in Washington. Good morning, doctor. How are you? Good morning, Chris. How are you? Two shootings by lone gunmen in two days. The Jason Rodriguez rampage in Orlando. Do you feel this is set off by what he sees in the news about the Fort Hood shootings the day before? It's, it's an excellent question. I think there's a strong possibility. You know, there have been these clusters of uh, what we might call copycat or triggered events of violence ever since the very first shootings that I've seen in the days at Yale. And what happens is that you have these guys out there who are absolutely outraged. They feel persecuted. There's a history of mental illness, as we know, both with Nadal and also with Rodriguez. And so they're enraged and they're waiting to be triggered. It's like waiting for the match yeah. to go to the gasoline. And when Rodriguez, I believe, saw what happened with Nadal, for him it was a solution. It was a reason to become enraged and act out. And after all, that's what we know. His first words were, why did you do this? I was angry. But what, it, what, what is that one thing, though, that causes someone like this to wake up in the morning on a given day and say, you know what, today's going to be the day, and just snap and, and go and do something like this? What an excellent question. You know, I think that um, there has been, over the course of these many years, when we've seen these events, Columbine, Virginia Tech, uh, just for two examples, and now, of course, uh, Fort Hood and Orlando, there's the idea that people snap because we don't see what's building up beforehand. Yeah. What actually happens though, when there was a Secret Service study that was done back in, uh, I believe, 85, that showed this across a large number of cases that um, I was a part of, that, that shows that these people are building anger for a very long time, Chris. Yeah. They become more and more enraged, more and more persecuted, and finally it becomes too much and there's a triggering event. Yeah. Rodriguez, a loss of a job. Nadal, the deployment. And that raises the anger to the point where the trigger is fired and they explode. I want to talk so to you. So it's pre-existing anger and then the explosion. I want to talk to you about ahead, some of the Chris. warning signs that you have here. I'm going to, I'll read through them real quickly and you can just give me a, a sentence or two on each one. But just some Certainly. of the warning signs that you're telling people that y if you're at home right now, you need to look, at, look out for. A person who withdraws from others. Go ahead. That's exactly right. So if we look at both Nadal and Rodriguez, we have reports from people that he was working with, the retired colonel with Nadal who reported that he had become uh, more withdrawn. And in the case of Rodriguez, neighbors who were saying that he was just sitting in his car yeah. all by himself to the point where they thought he was a vagrant. Look for significant withdrawal because these are people who are angry, enraged, outraged and disconnecting from their and world. Some of, uh, and some of the other tips you have, loses interest in usual activities, complains about unfairness of others, gets into frequent interpersonal conflicts, makes plans for the end, and like you had mentioned before, there's a trigger event. Now, if you know someone who, who, who's exhibiting any or, uh, of these, um, these signs, just quickly, what would you recommend? Well, I think there's two things you should do. First of all, don't wait for somebody else to act speak out, ask them if they need help. Yep. And if they need help, direct them to an emergency room. But these are people who need more than just the care of a friend. They need professional help. So send them to an emergency room, yep. send them to a counselor, send them to a clinic. These are depressed, angry, enraged people, time bombs really, yep. who need to be seen and helped. Doctor, thank you very much for taking the time this morning. We do appreciate it.